now and uh, Rafir Ashraf. Thank you, Chair. Thank you for the opportunity to speak on this motion on, on behalf of my colleague. I've been a councillor in St. James for the past two years, and I've been working really hard to make St. James a green, cleaner, greener, and safer community for everyone to enjoy. St. James is one of the gateways into Northampton, and I work really hard to organise community litter picks, community walkabouts. I offer advice surgeries, and I'm also working with the local stakeholders to make St. James a part of St. James a litter-free zone area, which is the very first in Northampton. St. James has iconic buildings, churches, cobblers, the saints, and many more. However, St. James remains deprived in, in, in the town centre. Talking to residents and businesses, they express deep concerns about the waste plant in St. James. I am very disappointed that the council could bring such a proposal and dump it in St. James, especially in a resident, residential area next to a BP station. Don't we suffer enough? Air pollution is high, traffic congestion, match day parking, it has a huge impact in the area, and we have very little resources to um, manage any um, work that we can actually do. Health of many are already impacted. I welcome new development, but I also welcome innovative technologies that help reduce recycling and landfill sites. But why in St. James? Don't we have enough problems already? The company only consulted in St. James and Far Cotton. In my opinion, it should have been far, far across the town centre to get everyone's views. The council saw a pound sign and thought, let's put it in St. James. They won't mind. They're wrong. We do mind. As politicians, some of our politicians don't live in the area. And my concern is you are going to make a decision on our behalf. And I don't want it to get to the stage where a decision has a, a huge impact on the people of our, of our town. Just the sheer size of the plant is not going to be in keeping of the landscape, especially in St. James. I don't want this council to make the mistake as the borough council not listening to the people because they're, they're willing to give away 10.25 million pounds just like that and they didn't listen to the people. If the county council One minute to go. Okay. If the county council grants permission, it will be a life sentence to the people of the town. When you and I are gone making these huge decisions on behalf of the people, we will leave a huge generation with health problems. I'd like to finish with one last comment. As politicians, we have to make difficult decisions. The people of the town deserve to be heard, and I hope you will not grant any permission until this organisation, Walton Kilbride, find an alternative site outside where it's not impacting on residential area. Thank you. Thank you very much.